So I'm trying to achieve this design that you see in front of us here in Revit. And I thought I could do this with a single railing. And maybe we can. Uh, someone who is a little bit better and works with more railings than I do. But it proved to be difficult. Uh, if I go to another view here, you'll see a single railing. But because of the way the top rail is configured, uh, it leaves a gap between because it's got a fillet radius it just it didn't work where I could get these uh, these rails to extend all the way to each extension okay because it's an extension there's an extension value of six inches or whatever it is and that leaves a gap in there so and if you leave it at zero there's uh, the extension doesn't work and it uh, basically you have two posts that don't uh, that aren't continuous so here's what what I did uh, and what I'll do is recreate it basically there's two railings okay so let's let's do that so I'll go file new project architecture template and we'll start off and I'm gonna do this from scratch I'll just do a railing place on path here put it right by the south elevation make it 10 feet and we'll make sure that it's one of the guardrail pipe types here and we'll finish the railing now we'll start editing this railing and what we're going to do with this railing and uh, is is essentially um, we'll go into the type properties we will not have a top rail this is going to be our, our horizontals this railing is and we probably ought to duplicate it shouldn't we first so I'll duplicate it and we'll call it uh, uh, guardrail horizontals. Again, name it whatever makes sense to you. And uh, no top rail, no handrail. And for the rail structure, we're just going to have two of them. We're going to have one at 14 inches. And again, this is not exact. I know your dimensions might be a little bit different here, but we're just going to use these as a to illustrate, and we're going to get rid of all the other rails. You notice that error message that we got about the references of the the posts and stuff. We'll we'll fix that in a moment. So anyway, yeah, there's rail six, rail seven. Let's make this proper. Rail one, rail two. Okay. And then in the baluster placement here, we will go ahead and get rid of the balusters. You may, no, we're going to get rid of everything. We're going to get rid of everything. Again, I'm kind of doing this on the fly here. So I'll put none, none, none. Click OK. Click OK here. And we just have our horizontals. Okay, So basically, we're creating two rails that are going to exist over top of each other to create this this uh, particular condition so then I'll I'll copy paste the same place we'll take this one and we'll duplicate it guardrail and we'll call this top rail and verticals okay and then uh, we will add we will get rid of the rails. We want to make sure we have a top rail because we need that in order for the the, ver the verticals to work correctly. And I think three foot six is fine. And then for the baluster placement, we want the baluster family. We'll choose the two inch round. You may have a different family in mind. That's okay. It's from the base host to the top. To the top rail element okay and uh, and we will not have any start or end post we may have a corner post here and there but no start and end posts okay and let's see what we have now so now you see we've got the posts and the top rail now we need to edit the top rail type so I'll hover over the, uh, the top rail tab until it's highlighted select it unpin it and then duplicate the type and we'll call it circular 
with extension and then the we'll leave the profile alone but we will want the join to be a fillet fillet radius four inches and we'll want the length and the extension to be I believe four in order for this to work I think if I have it less than four it box at me and it's got to be four inches and the extension style needs to be to the floor Right, and uh, we'll click OK, and there we have our top rail. Okay, obviously we've got that gap, so what we'll need to do here is we'll need to edit the path, and we'll go to a view where we can see it, and we're just going to move it in two inches on each side. Let me do this. I'll just uh, actually let me do this. I'll draw it with a two-inch offset, and we'll trim it out here on each side. We'll get rid of that. It's just construction line work to help me get the geometry in the right place. And then we'll finish it up. And then if we go back to the elevation, there we have, uh, it's a little bit closer. Maybe I need to move it in another inch or two, but you get the idea. Okay, so that's essentially uh, the way that I would create that particular railing. So you use two in this case. Uh, but again, I'm open to other ideas. But this should get you over the hump that uh, you're you're struggling with. If you have any qu uh, follow-up questions, let me know.